Welcome. Good morning. It is February 3rd, Friday. We are here live at Lifestyle Listings here at 310 South Wells Road in Ventura, right off of uh, what well, Wells Road, but more importantly, right next door to Cafe 126. So if you uh, don't know where Cafe 126 is, come out here and they have great food. I always love to give them a plug. Thanks to Frank and his team and uh, all great homemade food. Been around in Ventura for a long time. So anyways, that's where we are live from. Our new office here. It's still new for us, okay? It hasn't gotten old, but it's gotten lively. We are we we have a lot of stuff going on here. We're gonna I'm gonna share some of the things we have going on today. Uh, we have listings. We have we're in escrow. We're working with buyers, and everything is just going uh, is is very exciting here. So when everybody comes here and is working, it's super super fun. So the team has really been enjoying uh, everything that's going on here. Let's see, today, uh, how's everybody doing out there? We're in the month of love, yeah? So we've got Valentine's Day coming up. We also have the Super Bowl coming up next Sunday. So I don't know if you're a Kansas City fan or a Cincinnati, Cincinnati Bengals fan, but either way, there's gonna be a lot of red in that stadium. So uh, go Kansas. That's who I'm taking, that's my choice. Oh no, wait, I'm totally wrong, wrong on that. It's the Eagles, it's the Eagles in Kansas, right? So, okay. Um, anyways, thanks so much for joining the show today. We have a great, great conversation today. We're gonna talk about owning versus renting and you know, kind of the pluses and minuses of both. And a lot of people right now are saying, well, I don't really know what I should do is what's happening with the market. And you're going to hear from Matt at Mortgage Couch today. We're going to talk about that, like what is happening in the market. So I'm not going to answer that question for you right now. Uh, you can go to our link in the bio today. You can get access to our newsletter. You can get access to our address. You can get access to our website. And so any information, and I think on the, in the bio today, we have um, Matthew Couch's information as well, right? So uh, once we're in here, if you're interested in getting some more information about him, you can click on that link in there. So a little bit about what we, another thing we have going on right now is we are really helping keep Ventura warm. It's still chilly out there for uh, a lot of us and a lot of people out there are, um, you know, unhoused or they don't have enough clothes or whatever needs to or resources to be able to stay warm. So we are still collecting jackets. We're collecting heavy long sleeves. We're collecting uh, jackets for children and everybody is doing such a great job and we they're actually getting donated. They're coming in and Project Understanding is coming and picking them out and we're getting them out to the community as quickly as possible. So please, please, please um, call us if you have uh, jackets that you'd like for us to come and pick up or in case you'd like to come and drop them off, we would love to have you come visit us. Hey, Tom, thanks for coming on the show today and happy birthday. So we have, so Tom is a realtor in the Chicago area. We have an access to realtors across the country so I just want to remind you to tell you that if you're relocating or if you know somebody that's relocating here, we have realtors, uh, we have a full network across the country of people that we work with um, that we can help find you a realtor, you know, that has experience. So you're not out there just kind of guessing. So we'd like to help you do that as well. Okay, so uh, what else do we have? Ladies' Luncheon, we had our big event yesterday, and so our next event is on March 2nd, but we had quite a barn burner yesterday because we had Roy Lynn from Tristology, and it was pretty hot and fiery at Ladies' Luncheon yesterday. Thank you so much. Uh, shout out to Roy Lynn for coming uh, yesterday. So uh, here's just a couple of things that we have going on here. We have a new listing coming soon in Midtown. It's a little Midtown beauty, three bedroom, one bath. And I know this is gonna shock you, Tom, because you're in Chicago, but a little home in Midtown 
and we're priced at 949500 That's 772 Arbor Avenue that is on the MLS that's coming soon. And it's just a really, really adorable home. That'll be going on to the market and live probably next Thursday or Friday. So you can look for that. We have another listing coming up in Canoga Park. That will be coming soon in a couple of weeks. Priced at 749, three bedroom, two bath, 1650 square feet, completely remodeled and a beautiful pool in the backyard. Um, other thing, other, you know, we have other escrows going on in the area. We had a listing that went on to the, what was gonna go onto the market last, let's see, I think it was last Wednesday, it was supposed to go on the market, but it went under contract right before we put it on the market. So it's in a, it was in a great price range and that was the one on, um, on Fisher Court, 672. But we have, uh, we have now other listings coming up in that area since we posted that one going active under contract. So if you're out there and you're you know looking for homes that are on the market, we have access to a lot of homes that are off market or coming onto the market before you even find out about them. So that's a great resource. Okay, so I really, really, really want to get into introducing our, uh, spot, our, our guest today. Hello to Specialist Rainbow and Carlos and Willie. Hey, Tanya, how's it going? Uh, Tanya's on our team here at Lifestyle Listings and she's out there just killing it, man. So, uh, so thanks for coming on to the show, everybody. So today we are going to be talking to Matthew Couch from The Mortgage Couch. And we're going to be talking about rent versus buy. So please let me introduce Matthew Couch. Hey, Matt. Hey there, Lori. How are you? Oh, I'm doing very well. So good to see you. It is so great to be here. Thank you for this invitation. Uh, viewers, me and Lori have served on board of directors mm -hmm. for Project Understanding and have known each other for years. Mm -hmm. Being here with you is... Uh, an honor and a privilege. So thank you for having me. Likewise, friend. So good to have you here today. We were talking about a hot conversation today, oh, yeah. right? Absolutely. Right. So rent versus buy. You know, renting and buying is uh, kind of how ownership, home ownership is, you mm -hmm. know, and, and what we do. Um, today's market is challenging, as you and I know, and homeowners, you may not know the right direction on how to or not homeowners, renters. Renters may not know the right direction to go to get home ownership. Exactly. And so it's really about teamwork, collaboration, having a knowledgeable real estate agent, a knowledgeable finance uh, person and company that that uh, can help incubate and really foster a relationship mm -hmm. that gets us to the finish line, and that finish line being home ownership. Uh, Mortgage Couch has been around now for 10 years celebrated 10 years this month so that's wow. a, a nice uh, congratulations nice milestone for us um so i don't want to go too far into you know things without you leading a little bit of the conversation mm -hmm. so please you know, help me yeah i think one the most important thing that you said already is when and usually people that are renting are already hoping or desiring to buy one day but it's kind of like that big lion in the road and they're like, it's too big. I can't attack it. You know, it's like Daniel and the lion. And it's like, well, the, the most important thing that they can do, first of all, is contact is what we call putting the horse in front of the cart and just contact me or contact Matthew and let's start the conversation. It doesn't Absolutely. mean this is not an event. This is a journey, right? Absolutely. Couldn't, yeah. Couldn't have said it better. Uh, you know, one of the, I, I brought a few things with me today. You know, if you haven't read The Richest Man in Babylon, it's a great workbook on just life in general, mm -hmm. but home ownership is a huge tenant in this book. I highly recommend it. It's an Such easy, a good book. easy how to on how to survive in, in both business and also in home ownership. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the very first tenants of the book is saving. And this is a little shout out to, uh, to my, brother-in-law um he is a coin collector avid coin collector so i brought along some marcus aurelius coins from 161 so 161 a.d wow. this coin 
that's uh, old. So, I thought I was old, but that's like so old. So that's how long we've been saving these things. It's been a long <laughs> savings journey. Um, but shout out to you, Joe. So really the first tenant is saving and how do you save? Well, when you have your income, take a 10% cut and pay yourself first. Mm -hmm. you know, that's literally in the book. So that's how we start. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, you're right. How we start is a conversation. Right. Maybe you don't have the savings. That's how you start. You start mm -hmm. by saving. Right. And when we talked earlier, you had mentioned that uh, the current market for rents, and, and this is a startling st fact for me, so I'd like to you know, push, push this back to you. Yeah. What, what was that number that you said? So we are hearing, hi, Joel Che. Thanks for coming on today. So we are hearing that when someone goes to rent a home, first of all, rent is astronomical. And most of the rents that you and I look at that people are paying are like equal or more than a mortgage payment would be. Absolutely. So there's that. But the other thing that's really, really evident right now is that uh, landlords are requiring three times the monthly rent fee in proof of income or in down payment to be able to get into a rental. But more than that, they want to be able to see that you have three times the amount of rent in savings. So seasoned money, so to speak, we call it, you know, in our field and in the bank. Well, for an average $3,000 month rent, that's $9,000. That's a, that sounds like a down payment to me, actually. And that's a down payment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's quite right. startling. So the requirements for renting can literally transition you into home ownership today yes um is it a cookie cutter solution for everyone absolutely not right not everyone has to buy right now and that's the conversation we don't we can't uncover your plan without having a conversation and if you have that nine thousand dollars there's programs out there that allow little to no down mm. using government assistance using government programs down payment assistance programs it's not for everyone right but it might be for you and that's the point. We don't know until we have a conversation and sit down to grow that relationship to really uncover everything that's going off, going in your life yeah. as, as our potential client. Yeah, I think we see, uh, I personally, I see a lot of people that are renting, sitting around and making decisions, making their own personal financial decisions on their status when, no offense, but they're not really financial experts. And they're like, but I need to pay up all these credit cards. I need to do this before I even think about buying. It's like, stop. How do you know that? Like, sit down and meet with us or you. Yeah, and you're like, oh. 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 Yeah, this is a perfectly close to my heart. Yeah. Uh, I love this woman. She's my sister. So she's getting thrown under the bus right now. Oh, okay. Um, great woman first. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kelly. Um, Hi, Kelly. <laughs> She just didn't have the tool set to do exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. She's financially stable in her income, but didn't know how homeownership worked. The dream was there, the passion, the drive, everything was right. Right. But um, as you said, the lion, she didn't know how to tame the lion. Right. And it took a while. She was not an easy client to work with. <laughs> family being, never being, is. Big family. Um, but through the conversations mm -hmm. and showing her... Uh, this is what it looks like in a very exploratory manner, mm -hmm. how, how things really work. Yeah. You know, you turn that lion into a kitty cat. No kidding. And just a little she, bit at a time, just, right? Yeah, it's just a little bit at a time. She mm -hmm. took a lot longer than she should have, but she did it, and she's a very happy home. She loves her home. She actually doesn't leave there. She just stays there. She's very happy. She's, she loves so, her home. She loves her home. Love your home, date the rate. That's my saying. So, you know, we can talk about rates a little bit, but. Rates, it's a great little segue. So you can't control interest rates. Nobody can. I don't know if, you know, you, you, you hear rates getting thrown out there, 6%, 5%. Nobody can control it, contrary to what most people believe. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a market function, just like you can't control how much money you're earning in your 401k. It's duff, it's something that's relative to the market. As, as stocks are publicly traded, mm -hmm. so are mortgage-backed securities. That's an instrument that's on Wall Street, and that's really what governs interest rates. Mm -hmm. So when you're looking at that rate, you're not really, to your point, you're not really getting in love and marrying that one. Right. Tomorrow it's going to be a different thing. Right. So a lot of talk about the Fed, they raise interest rates. 
that isn't to us as consumers. That number is to banks. Right. That's what the banks are being charged. And mm -hmm. so they, just like an interest rate to you is going to dictate your budget and your financial future, banks have to make decisions based on what it's going to cost them. And so when the Fed says, hey, we're increasing interest rates by a quarter percent, you as a consumer, it's irrelevant. Right. It, it will trickle down to you, but it's the bank that's going to make the decision based on that change by the Fed to impact you and your personal life. Mm -hmm. So interest rates going up by a quarter or Fed rate, whoa, ho, banks are crying. That doesn't mean you should. I so, love that you're making that point because people really make a big hubaloo, hullabaloo about, you know, oh, Fed's raised, you know, rates, you know, quarter of a percent. You know, it's like. I think we just coined the word of the day, hubaloo. Baloo. Hubba baloo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's, it is a lot. There's a lot of noise. Don't get caught up in like all the, you know, the uh, bathroom wall on, you know, online, Ooh. you know, it's just like, be careful what you're listening to and who you're talking to, you know, right? Uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> it's it's... Like, but my mom says, mm -hmm. or my brother-in-law says, or my, you know, whoever, it's like, we have, you know, years and years and years of experience, you know, in this. Absolutely. And this is a team. These are experienced people that you're going to work with to get you to the end result. It may be, we may be able to move forward right away. We might have to, you know, do some work, Absolutely. but. I, I love this track that we're on. It's so organic. It's amazing, actually. Uh, you know, experience. In the last 10 years, we've seen marketing and, and that, to your point of the, the consumer being pushed so much information. Mm -hmm. you know, one of the things, in my opinion, the greatest marketing scheme ever in the mortgage industry was this click, click, you get a loan. Right. Well, the reality is if you're going from a 6% rate to a 3% rate, pretty much any lender can do that. That's an easy improvement to mm -hmm. you as a consumer. But we've gone away from that. We're away from those times now. That's the past. So today it's about looking at where are we today? Mm -hmm. Where are where is our finances where is our finances today? Mm -hmm. And using what you have available as far as your income and finding what you qualify for. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't listen to the push button get a loan. That's not how this works. No. It's a conversation of experience. Mm. That's what gets you home. Mm. The push button loan and the push button realtor. Let me tell you, there's we have seen a lot of failure in those systems. So be careful which button you are pushing. Hey, Jessica, how are you? Good to see you. Jessica's on our team and she's out there killing it. Oh my gosh. So um, yeah, I everybody just has a totally, everybody's a different person. Everybody has a different scenario. And it's our professionalism that we sit down and we go, you know, what does this look like for you? Yeah, maybe this looks like that you, you know, that you do rent for another six months or whatever. Um, but there are a lot of, you know, at, there are a lot of disadvantages, you know, to renting. You don't get to decide what you get to do with your home. You don't get to, you know, and sometimes the landlords do repairs. Sometimes they don't. Um, and then, you know, I don't know if they're charging you or whatever you agreed to in your initial contract with them. Um, you, uh, you aren't building equity. And we can never guarantee equity, but I can tell you over the last 10 years, owning versus renting has been a better advantage for most. You, again, this is very, very excellent dialogue. Uh, so equity, you know, we're not buying homes for investments. We're buying homes to have a family. Mm. And so the mentality of buying a home with, with this investment in, in mind is really the wrong direction. Everything mm -hmm. from the top down in our industry, in the real estate finance industry, mm -hmm. is really to help home ownership. Home ownership is not investment. Home ownership is making sure you're housed and you have shelter. Mm -hmm. So yes, is there wealth being created? Absolutely, and that's a tenet of, of the book. Mm -hmm. and, and it will create your wealth. Mm -hmm. but you need a very awesome place to live that you call home. Mm -hmm. And you don't do that without first taking care of buying and being in your home. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's ex exceptionally, you know, the point to drive right now is yeah. that we're not buying investments. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're trying to find a place to raise a family, to grow, 
to love. And that's, that's really you know, what we need. Yeah. Shelter first. Right. And then the investment comes second. Right. As you and then the well. tax advantages, right? Absolutely. The entire tax code is drafted for the purpose of home ownership. Please pay attention to that. That is such a huge point that people don't. The tax code was written for the individual business owner and the homeowner. Absolutely. Yeah. Top down home ownership is one of again. I, I hate to just say those are all the answers, but the, yeah, they are. It's it's saving money, and then making sure you own your shelter. And if you are a self-employed business, growing that business. I mean, those are kind of three tenets. That's why Mortgage Couch exists. Yay. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm here. That's good. <laughs> that's good. I think people also forget that, like, when you are paying rent, you are building somebody else's dream. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Like, you're, yeah, you're paying somebody else's mortgage payment. You might as well be paying your own mortgage payment if we can make that work for you, you know. And you should, I don't know, nine times out of ten, we sit down with people and they're like, I don't know if we can buy right now. I can't tell you how many times, nine times out of ten, we figure out that they can. The amount of objections are mountains. Oh, my god! But once we go over them and they're in the home, mm -hmm. they thrive because you'll find a way to make it work. Yeah. My sister, again, got to throw her into the bus. Yeah. To her, to a T. Just dragging along to get the process done. And she's very candid with me yeah. about the process. And so, you know, we almost had to force her in the home, but we, we got her there. Yeah. And now you, you go to her house, she has made it a home. And, and that's the goal is to have that reaction. Yeah. And then later on in life, we can talk about investments for, for her and for anyone else that has already got home ownership. Yeah. You know, and it might, in, in certain locations, you might have to look at a smaller home to start to get in, but it's a starting place. Don't yeah, pay somebody is... else's rent for sure. Or yeah, don't, don't pay for be... somebody else's mortgage. Don't pay for somebody else's mortgage, somebody else's dream. Build your own dream. And yeah, that's what we're about. We're about helping people build their dream. And then, you know, after a couple of years, we can revisit it and see if you want to, you know, get bigger or maybe you want to stay there. I don't know, but get call us we're happy to sit down with you and have a conversation no pressure just kind of lay everything out so tell people more about how they can get a hold of you and thank you Lori. Yeah. Uh, so mortgage couch is available online you can reach us at www.mortgagecouch.com i think you're not supposed to say the www anymore i think that's an old school thing you so, just aged <laughs> yeah right uh <laughs> we are on instagram at mortgage couch is our handle uh you can reach me directly matthew at mortgage couch that's two t's and um, cell phone number is probably in the bio, 805-822-2296. Love to speak with anyone. Talk to them about this journey of home ownership. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not a click, click, boom. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a process, and I'm more than happy to help with. We're here in Ventura, California. This is home. This is an amazing place to be. An amazing We're place so to be. blessed to Absolutely. be here, and I'm the market is strong here, you know. Whichever direction you want to go, it's it's a great place to, you know, to buy. And now, I mean, for all of us uh, here at Lifestyle Listings, we represent any home that's for sale in the state of California. We're, we specialize in Ventura County. And, of course, we love Ventura. But, um, but yeah, there's a lot of opportunity out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. So I'm so grateful that you came on to the show. I'm honored to be here. Thank you very much. For yeah. This. Appreciate it. Yeah. You guys contact Matthew about your questions. And if you want to get a hold of us first, you can do that. We are here to help you. Um, I think that's pretty much it for today. Can you think of anything else that we need to add? I think this is an amazing show. It was I, an amazing I, show. It was good conversation. You. Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on to the show. So grateful for everybody out there. Have a great weekend. Wake up in the morning, do open up your eyes.